Hello everyone, so what I have here is a USB-C car charger that is 3 amps and 36 watts. Um, it claims it can charge a MacBook, but I'm curious if it can charge a MacBook Pro. This is what it looks like, it's just USB-C, stock standard car charger. So I will go plug uh, my MacBook in the car and see what happens. So upon plugging it in, you get a nice little green light to tell you it's working. And I've got the MacBook there, plug that in, and then the other end in the MacBook. And there you have it, it shows it is charging. What interests me now is if I click on it, will it tell me a time? No, it won't. And it also tells me battery is not charging. But there's not enough power to charge a MacBook Pro, but is it enough power to maintain the battery if you do intensive tasks on that? So for that, I will load up iMovie, just put in a few random videos, all 4K that I have, and I'll get it to render and see if it maintains the battery. Okay, something happened while I was getting iMovie ready. It actually went from battery not charging to charging. And if you remember, it was at 46... Focus, you stupid thing. It was at 46% a second ago, now it's changed to 47. And here it goes, 2 hours and 14 minutes until full. So maybe it needs a bit of time to get going, or the charger needs time to power itself up. I don't know, but it's not even getting that warm. Like it's still, yeah, it's, it's lukewarm. It's it's not that warm. And you have a look, now it's gone up to 48%. So it is definitely capable of charging a MacBook Pro. So what I have here is a 33 minute video and let's export. Better quality. We don't want to go this because it'll get 118 gigs. So we'll leave it at high. And flying to your yeah, let's save that. How long will this take? Whoa, 53. Okay, so that's most likely gonna take about half an hour. So I will let this finish and then I'll come back to see where the battery's at. All right, so I didn't have to even wait for this to finish in order to see the results. Basically what it's done, it's just a bit more than halfway through rendering and hopefully this shows up. It's down on 45% the battery and it's showing that it's not charging. So I guess if you're not doing anything too intensive on your Mac, then it will charge. Because as soon as I stop this, close iMovie and give it a few seconds, it goes back to charging. So now the time's come back. So if I click on this, it says roughly three hours until it's full. Now what I want to try is closing it, leaving it for 15 minutes and seeing how full it is. Okay, so here we are coming up on 15 minutes. Aha. And it's charged to, like it's your stupid thing, 61% which is still pretty good. The only other time when I really needed the laptop charged everywhere I went, I had to carry an inverter, which is big. Um, it was noisy, that thing got quite hot, and yeah. So this thing's good. Uh, you know, you can watch movies, browse the web, any light activity, this thing will handle it and still charge. Obviously, if you want to do video editing in the car, you'll have to wait till the laptop's full before exporting. 
Uh, now for the other thing, I wanted to see how hot this thing got, and like you can touch it, it's it's not too hot. Um, these metal things, they're just on that borderline too hot to touch, um, but not enough that you're going to burn your hand. So overall, I think it's a good product. If you need to keep your laptop charged everywhere you go, then this is a good solution for you. I got it from the Apple store. From memory, it was $44.95, so $45 in Australia. It's probably less in the US. Um, I'll put a link to the Belkin site where this thing's located if you need to buy it. And thanks for watching.